Is Game Freak finally giving us Mega Greninja? So over on X or Twitter, Riddler Ku, he's been he's been posting a lot more recently. He went on a little hiatus because there was really nothing you know, for months about Legend ZA or just anything Pokemon related. But he made a tweet with like a DNA emoji, water, and a scarf. So you can only imagine one thing. Well, there's a, there are a lot of things you could imagine with this. I mean, there are definitely a couple of Pokemon that can kind of fit this, these emojis, but I think that he's really referring to Mega Greninja being in the game. I, I really feel like that could be a, a possibility because in my opinion, one of the most popular fan requested you know mega evolutions is greninja that's definitely one of the top like also right there with flygon i really hope we see a mega flygon i think that flygon i think flygon is awesome and i would really love to see a mega and i'm pretty sure that flygon actually originally was gonna have a mega in x and y but for some reason they scrapped it i i think that was like a confirmed like data mine or something this is actually a reference to mega greninja it could be reference to maybe one of the starter pokemon i kind of doubt that though i really feel like it's gotta be Mega Greninja. And a lot of people are also like, well, we already have, there's already Ash's Greninja. So like, how could we have a Mega Greninja if Ash's Greninja exists? Which I don't know if they would really care too much about that. Just because there is Ash's Greninja, it's def it's technically not a Mega Greninja, if that makes sense. So I feel like Mega Greninja could still be out for grabs. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and comment down below what Mega Evolution you want to see in this game. It helps me so much, and I really, really appreciate any support. So somebody responded with exactly that and posted a bunch of stats and stuff, and he's just talking about... But here's the thing, if Mega Greninja is gonna be in the game, wouldn't that mean Froakie is gonna be one of our starter Pokemon, meaning that the Gen 6 starter Pokemon are just gonna be the starter Pokemon for this game? Because a lot of people think it's gonna be a different set of three Pokemon as your starters that are not like from X and Y, that are not the Generation 6 starters. And that's kind of just where I'm confused because I, I wanna think that we're getting different Pokemon because I wanna think that this game takes place like before X and Y established starter Pokemon in the game, you know, Froakie, Fennekin, Chespin, and everything as the starter Pokemon. So in my last video, it seemed like Riddler Ku was really hinting at generation, I think it was three, five, and eight, I believe is what he said for the starter Pokemon. But at the same time, it's like, if this is taking place in Lumio City, which is Kalos region, like why wouldn't we just have the, you know, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie? And even if we do get those as the regular starter Pokemon in this game, Will they have regional variants or will they just be the exact same because it's the same region? You know what I mean? Because if this were taking place in a different region or like or like a sub part of this region, just like how Legends Arceus or Arceus, how the Hisui region, which I believe is like a sub part of Sinnoh, like the reason why we have different starters is because that's not taking place right exactly where Diamond and Pearl took place. You know what I mean? It was different and also it was like way in the past, like I don't remember if it was hundreds or thousands of years, but it was a long time prior to Diamond and Pearl. Like, so for the starter Pokemon of Legends EA, I really have no idea. I'm completely lost, and I feel like they're probably gonna give us that reveal when the when the next trailer comes out. And the reason I say that is because this is not a brand new generation of Pokemon, meaning like the starter Pokemon aren't as special as like or as big of a announcement as it would be for like generation 10 like those starter pokemon are going to be hyped you know what i mean they're going to really want to build up to that hype but we only have one official trailer for legend ZA right now we will probably get another one after the reveal of the switch 2 my theory is they're going to give us the switch 2 announcement trailer official trailer whatever first and then we're going to get a ZA trailer shortly after that just so we can like see and the reason why is because they don't want to give us a glimpse of what the switch 2 is capable of you know what I mean like they have to keep that under wraps and I really think that ZA is going to be a dual release too I think they're going to put it on the switch and the switch 2 I, I feel like that's probably the best and the smartest thing for them to do because a lot of people are saying that they're not going to be able to afford the switch 2 which is you know totally understandable I mean it's a couple it's probably going to be 300 400 dollars hopefully no more than 400 because you know today's economy it probably will be more on the higher end probably like 400 is my guess maybe 350 but the thing with nintendo is they always have to keep their prices pretty reasonable just because it's older technology and that's just how they've always been they've always tried to cut the market and have a, a way better price than xbox and playstation so it's gonna definitely be cheaper than an xbox or a playstation but but what do you guys think about his tweet i feel like i i feel like it's gotta be referring to Mega Greninja. I mean, it just makes sense. The water with the scarf and the DNA emoji 
obviously referring to a new, you know, type of evolution, mega evolution. It could also be meaning just a new variant of, of Greninja, which I just don't see how that could be possible. Like, I don't see how we can get regional variants of the Kalos Pokemon because, or starters, I mean, because we already have them in Kalos region. So th that's where I'm lost. Like, I don't know if we're going to get... Like, if we do get starter Pokemon from Generation 3, 5, and 8, like Ridderku's previous tweet, that would just be kind of weird because the game takes place in the Kalos region, like in Lumio City, which is in X and Y, and where we had Fennekin, Chespin, and Froakie. So, I'm, uh, I'm pretty lost on that part. But as far as new Mega Evolutions go, I feel like they're probably gonna give us like 10 maybe max of like 10 because they're not going to give us a ton of new mega evolutions because there aren't that many already and they're not just going to dump a ton on us right now because mega evolutions are supposed to be pretty special of course and it's a gimmick so it's supposed to have that you know special factor like i just said and you know i'm just curious to see what else i feel like we got we got to get mega greninja mega flygon and i don't i think those are just the two that i really want the most anything else i'm i'm probably pretty okay with but here's the thing too if froki is in the game that means all the gen 6 starters are going to be in the game right so then it's like if those starter pokemon are in the game in kalos region for legend ca why not just give them to us as our starter pokemon you know what i mean instead of of the idea of if we're gonna have different region starters for the the starter pokemon of this game i don't know well, let me know what you guys think about that because i feel like i'm i'm directly in the middle the reason why is because legends arceus obviously was a little different everything about that game is going to be different than this game and the reason why was because obviously it took place in like a sub part of the Sinnoh region and it was way in the past so of course that made that made total sense for the starter pokemon to be three different pokemon from different regions or different generations and we got different regional variants for their evolutions. I thought that was great and that made perfect sense for Legends Arceus. But the stakes are totally different just because this is the Kalos region. And it's like, you know, let's just have the regular Gen 6 starters. I know a lot of people are like, they don't really care too much about that because they kind of want to mess around with all older starters or different starters. I, I like the Gen 6 starters a lot. So I would be, I'd be pretty happy with that. And I definitely would pick Froki. 100%. You got to go with Froki. Fennekin is my second favorite, though. It's, it's a pretty close tie between Fennekin and Froakie. Chespin, I'm sorry. I don't really like Chespin too much. I've never been the biggest Chespin fan, but anyways, what do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.